Hi, welcome. It's Kenny Russell, Bulldozer Faith, living life in the spirit. Here I am for the first time in the new set for the Hebrew Root Center here in the Galilee. I want to thank you for joining with me today. We are excited at the expansion of the things that we are doing in the ministry right now to get the gospel of the kingdom out to the nations. The true gospel of the kingdom, the gospel that Yeshua brought, not the bow your head and just pray this prayer after me uh, to Jesus type of gospel. Our focus is to bring the life of the spirit to this generation that we can wake up and understand that the hour has come for us to rise from slumber, that our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. You know, many people, when they look at Hebrew roots, they think, oh, that's the people that follow the Torah. Uh, they're going back. Uh, you know, you have to uh, be circumcised to get saved. You've got to go back to the law. Salvation is found in these ways. That's not what I'm saying at all. That's not the message that Yeshua brought. We are saved through grace by faith in the Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach. On our site, Bulldozer Faith, our number one priority is to bring forth um, resources that will help you and those that are searching on the internet to discover their Hebraic roots. Many people have got questions that they're asking about their faith. They've been brought up in churchianity in the Christian world. They've heard the stand-up, sit-down gospel for long enough, and then they're realizing what is this message all about? What effect does my uh, relationship with Jesus, um, uh, what effect is it having on my daily life? I want to encourage you to delve into Scripture that we can get back to the place to understand that Yeshua brought a message that wasn't all about himself. We hear people teach that it's just all about Yeshua. It's just all about Christ, everything in Christ. But what was that message that he came and brought to the shores of the Galilee and to the land of Israel. He brought a message that was this, the kingdom of Yahovah is at hand. He didn't say to the people when he fed the 5,000, just bow your heads with me, and uh, after he fed them, and just pray this prayer and ask me to come and live in your heart. Yes, we have to believe on the Messiah. We have to receive him as our Lord and as our Savior. Those things are true, but we have been denied the full um, the, the fullness of the gospel that the Messiah brought. It's all not just about Yeshua, but it's about the Father. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. We're getting ready to uh, produce our series of programs for, from the Hebrew Root Center here in the Galilee, as well as our flagship show called Capture the Moment, which I know many of you are enjoying as we're starting to record that series as well. I just want to read just a couple of bits of feedback and things that uh, we've been receiving. For those that send emails to us, thank you. For those that send letters, it's exciting to hear what the Father is doing in your lives. I want to share some of that right now just as an encouragement to those that are watching today. Got this uh, message here from someone that uh, sent a donation in. Love your teaching, brother. Yahovah is blessing your spirit. I love your heart for our Father. You lift my spirit and encourage me to know our Father in spirit and truth. Hope you know that Yahweh shines and speaks through you in a special and wonderful way. Love your brother. Keep up the excellent service to Yahovah. Um, you bless my soul from William. Um, we've got another testimony here from the Writer's Corner. For those that aren't familiar with our site, Bulldozer Faith, I want to encourage you to go to the site bulldozerfaith.com. Uh, we have a writer section, and on there we've got Julia and Christine, great writers in, in prayer that walk a life of prayer and in love with the Father, seeking to provide answers to difficult questions, unwrapping, unwrapping the, the, the truth where... Uh, things have been misappropriated in Scripture. And this is one testimony that's come in from one of the writer's uh, articles. I encourage all the writers on Bulldoze of Faith to continue to let Yahovah guide their pen to reach out to all who will hear. I enjoyed this article also. Thank you so much from Anita. Uh, just wanted to let you know how much our family appreciates your ministry. You've made a wonderful impact in our lives. We love listening to your messages, and they encourage us on our walk with Yehovah. 
just wanted you to know that you are making a difference and we can't wait until you have a huge Bulldozer of Faith tour. We will travel across the US if, you have to, if we have to, to come and meet you. May you have many blessings in your ministry from Julie. Another one we received. Thank you for your obedience to the Father and for this powerful message. I pray for your healing and your ministry. Shalom, Rene. Thank you for your continued exposure of truth and light in the midst of this darkness and destruction. Such joy walk in the hills of Jerusalem. Even so, come Yeshua from Yana. Shalom, Kenny Russell. I was so glad I found your website. I'm writing to you from Australia. I came to know Yeshua as my Messiah a few years ago. I've been to Israel in 2011, and I would love to visit and live in Israel, should that be the will of the Lord Yeshua. I just want to say that Yeshua HaMashiach bless you as you share the truth of the Lord Yeshua, Tuda, Kenny, and Shalom from Alyssa in Australia. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. Another testimony, excellent teaching from Jerusalem, looking forward to many more. Truth is what we are all seeking and deliverance from the lies we have inherited from our forefathers, as scripture tells us from John and Susan. You know, thank you so much for all of the hundreds of testimonies that we do get by email. And I just want to share some of them with you just now. It's exciting that each month we get to reach thousands of people in many nations around the world. And uh, one of the testimonies there was praying for my health. As some of you know, I was going through an issue with my liver. I'm still in the process of um, uh, dealing with that in a natural way for uh, the, the restoration of my health. So my energy has been down. I haven't been able to do the broadcasts that I want to do, but things are moving in a positive direction right now and just praying for full restoration of health so that we can get on with the mission. Why are we here in Israel? Why are we in the region of the Galilee? What's our focus to being here in the land? We're called here for such a time as this so that we can preach the true gospel of the kingdom and that we can see the, the, the Ephraimites, the Israelites come to a place of uniting with Judah. Ezekiel 37 is a key passage of scripture that the two will become one. The house of Judah and the house of Israel will come and stand together as one. Our desire is to preach the true gospel, that Yeshua came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel, that he is looking for us to be uh, established in the reality of the gospel, that we understand that the new heaven and the new earth is coming, that the Jerusalem is coming here, that the Messiah is coming back here to reign on the earth from a thousand years from right here in Israel, in Jerusalem. It's exciting. But I want to read a scripture to you that for, for today. Romans chapter 8, verse 1. It says, Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Yeshua HaMashiach, because through the Messiah, the law of the spirit of life set me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law was powerless to do in that it was weakened by sinful nature, Yahweh did by sending his son in the likeness of sinful man to be a sin offering so that he condemned sin in sinful man in order that the righteous requirements of the law might be fully met in us who do not live according to the sinful nature, but according to the Spirit. Those who live according to the sinful nature have their minds set on what that nature desires, but those who live in accordance with the Spirit have their minds set on what the Spirit desires. I love this scripture. The mind of sinful man is death, but the mind controlled by the Spirit is life and peace. The sinful mind is hostile to Yahovah. It does not submit to Yahweh's law, nor can it do so. Those controlled by the sinful nature cannot please Yahovah. You, however, are controlled not by the sinful nature, but by the Spirit. If the Spirit of Yahovah lives in you, and if anyone does not have the Spirit of the Messiah, he does not belong to Messiah. But Messiah is in you. Your body is dead because of sin, yet your spirit is alive because of righteousness. 
And if the spirit of him who raised Yeshua from the dead is living in you, he who raised the Messiah from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies Though his, uh, through his spirit who lives in you. We want to speak forth the life of the spirit today. We want to declare that this is the day that Yahovah has made. We choose to rejoice. We want to stand up and make a difference. And what I want to ask of you today is that you stand and pray for our work as we start moving into a new phase, as we're preparing right now for the fall feast in just a couple of weeks. I want to ask you and encourage you to stand and pray for our ministry. If you would, if you feel called or in prayer, you're looking for ways that you can give in the land of Israel. I want to ask you to stand with us financially as well and support our ministry. You can give to us through bulldozerfaith.com under the support tab. We are looking for those that will partner with us on a monthly basis especially so that we can get this gospel out and we can continue to make uh, quality broadcasts from the land of Israel and expand the vision that the Father has given us here. We are standing here in the Galilee region to shine the light from this land to the ends of the earth. We truly believe that this is the hour where the, the blindfolds are coming off the eyes of Israel and the blessings that will come from this land will be far greater than any other blessings that we have seen in the time of the Gentiles. This truly is the hour for us to come into a new phase in the gospel of the kingdom for us to stand together so that we can see a work raised up that we can minister to the Jew and to uh, the, the lost tribes and to the Gentile nations of the gospel. It is time. And I want to ask you to, to stand with us. Uh, it's exciting. You know, our key way of how we operate in our ministry is we go out and we do it and people see what we are doing and they're blessed and encouraged by what we do and they want to support us. So I'm not just coming to you today with an idea and saying, would you like to get behind our work? I'm coming to you to say, we are uh, actively making a difference in the nation and we really need you to stand with us. So this Shabbat, will you take time just to stand and pray for our work, pray for us as we seek to bring forth uh, his kingdom at this day. I want to thank you for watching. This is Kenny Russell, Bulldozer of Faith, Living Life in the Spirit. And here we are on the new set for the Hebrew Root Center in the Galilee. We are excited about the teaching, about what the Father is going to do from this place to the nations. And thank you to all those that do support us right now financially. And for all those that stand with prayer, we really appreciate everything you do for us. Until next time, Shabbat Shalom. Thank you.